See, whenever something good happens, the dua we make for one another is for blessing. The brother gets married, you say, Barakallahu lak. May Allah put baraka in your marriage. You get a new baby, Barakallahu lak fil mawhub. May Allah put baraka in this young child who was a gift to you from God. Anything of success, of worth, we ask Allah to give it baraka. And therefore it becomes necessary for us to ask, what is this baraka? See, baraka doesn't reside in anything. It is only from Allah. The baraka I have and the baraka you have in your life is not your own doing. Baraka, it is a gracious blessing from Allah. It is a grace of God that at times we're not worthy of it. And the aim of arriving at that barakah is that it is sent by Allah. It's not manifest in any one place or thing. Not even in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So barakah would refer to particular things. Objects can have barakah. Places can have barakah. Time, like the month of Ramadan, can have barakah. Occasions, like the, the hajj, can have barakah. A locality like the Kaaba and what is surrounding it, Philistine, Palestine, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala end its oppression, has barakah, barakna hawlaha. Places endowed with blessing, that God sent that blessing. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about blessing, He's saying that it is a beneficent force from Allah that flows through a physical and a spiritual sphere in the form of one of these three things prosperity protection or fulfillment prosperity protection or fulfillment sometimes barakah is just a feeling i feel good about my life i feel good about my job it's not that the barakah that i got the job is that in my job, I function well, I enjoy being there. It's a blessing sent to me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, baraka means one of three things. And the ulama, when they talk about baraka, they say, if it occurs in something little, it increases it. You have something, and it's little, you sometimes underestimate it. You know, in Ramadan, uh, you know, we've all had this. Uh, you come at the end of the day, you know, mashallah, you or your wife were cooking, and you look at the food and you say, but we have 45 people coming. Surely this isn't enough. Sometimes at the end of cooking, you, you, you panic. Is there anything in the freezer? Go get some chips or fish and chips. Go, get, go put, put something more. All of us have that panic. And we underestimate what Allah then puts barakah in. And this would happen with the Prophet and his companions radiallahu anhum. Wa alayhi afdalu salah wa atamu taslim. Barakah is that that which you assume would not be enough is made more than enough. And the Prophet would say things to us like the food of two is enough for three. And the food of three is enough for five. And the food of five is enough for a group. Don't count the numbers. Don't look at the thing if your intention is good. If you did it with the right intention, the barakah will come and those who will eat maybe three spoons will feel like they had a full meal because of the barakah. Number two is that if it occurs, if it occurs in something great, it protects it. Sometimes, alhamdulillah, you've been blessed and Allah has given you something good. You look at that, mashallah, beautiful home that you find, alhamdulillah, paid off. Uh, your children who've grown up getting married. You look at something that you've achieved. Khalas, I've achieved it. It's almost complete. You don't want to add to it. What you want is to protect it. And that's barakah. That Allah yahfaz, guards, is the one who guards what is already in place. Third, of barakah, of blessing, is that which you don't have and never thought you could ever have, that you could not plan how you would ever get it. 
You could not, if you were to try to chart a course to arrive at that successful destination, you could not even envision it. But Allah provides means from where you did not suspect. And Allah speaks of this in the Quran. Allah will provide provisions from where one does not think they can arrive. The one who is conscious of God. Allah always makes for them an exit from every difficulty in life. Barakah therefore and taqwa are tied together. And whenever the Prophet would speak about taqwa, barakah was always implied in his discussion. Barakah is not a state and is not permanent. And you may have barakah now, but it may be taken from you. And therefore you're always asking Allah, Allahumma zid lana wa barik lana fi. Oh Allah, increase us and put barakah in it. Oh Allah, increase it and preserve it. Oh Allah, give us more from that which is good.